I just hate this. This stuff's I because you know what? Again, I'll deal with anything. I'd actually rather deal with a terrorist than somebody going completely insane. Well, in terrorists the tackle them. Well, at least with terrorists, I can be like, I'm yeah, on your side. You're on their And you side. flip with them, then you get inside the group, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, this guy's incredible. And then all of a sudden I'm working. Yeah, I, I flip have a from, feeling from the inside out. You're going to have a hard time explaining that to the judge and jury. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I flipped them. I flipped them. All right. Let's play this clip of this woman screaming. This is what it would be like laying next to me in my bed. Um, yeah, I give uh, my hats off to everyone. Oh, no, this is, you're playing the wrong, I'm sorry. Play yeah, the, what is this? Oh, God, I don't want to hear what that the rest was of Carrot this Play the, was that Joe? Oh, that's second. just Carrot Top? That's just Carrot Top. Because well, he was on the same flight. But just hearing him talk, I was like, oh, God, I don't want to we'll hear play, what I, I don't want to hear your other videos from your phone. God knows what he watches. And then, oh, he's cool. He's a good guy. Cool. No, I know. I like Carrot Top, but. Somebody, you would just all immediately have the deep man's voice playing out of your phone, being like, What are you watching? <laughs> but I am telling you right now, that mother that mother back there is not real. I'm telling you, I'm getting the off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the off, and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two. Yeah, I, I'm not dealing with it. That's what I was saying. I'd rather, I feel like a criminal, somebody I can reason with. When someone's saying, like, pointing at a steward at the back of the flight saying that person is not real. I mean, while, like, you see the guy going, like, I'm real. Well, we and then I just, don't part of know. Me, we just wonder or not, maybe he starts to be like, maybe I should be keeping it more real. Maybe that's my problems. Maybe what she's saying is right. And all of a sudden he gets caught in his head and he starts thinking about how he's just like, yeah, maybe I'm doing all these people's bidding. Mm -hmm. And next mm -hmm. thing you know, he starts doing like anal paintings. Well, you know, where it's well just that was, like, there's nothing more real than that. But he had a career before and all it took was one comment to just shatter his whole like track. He was like ready to go. And then all of a sudden yeah. now he's doing like butthole kisses. With tempura paint. Well, I mean, Carrot Top can do whatever he wants to do if he I thinks mean, it's funny. So the thing well, is that Carrot Top was watching all this go down. He watched all of this go down. And the he flight did nothing was to stop this woman. Well, you can't do anything, especially when you're Carrot Top. So your flight, the flight was delayed three and a half hours, mm. and the passengers were all forced to depart and then reboard the aircraft ah, yep. oh, after yeah. this woman lost her earbud and went absolutely batshit insane. Oh, the woman and lost so her earbud earbud so that's, that's the right. real key and so she says i'm mm. not getting off the fucking plane i'm not gonna do this shit there's no reason why i'd be getting off the plane everyone here can either believe it or not believe it but that person is not real now i, I have been on a flight I with just... people and i have spoken to an airline oh. waiter attendant and she said that she has seen non-humanoid yeah, figures on planes and then you're like and you know what oh god you're in charge of the safety you have to think don't aliens need to fly too don't non-humanoids need to get back for their clerk lack Thanksgiving? Well, if you we, don't know what the vacation time is, we need alien. We need alien calendars. What if this is the holiest high holiday? Well, dude, for the aliens, and we don't know it. You just don't even understand. You did kind of step into a maelstrom there because if it is yeah. true, indeed, what David Grush is talking about that there is a secret program within the federal institutions, right? Like let's say within the Pentagon, there's some kind of secret mm -hmm. UFO retrieval system. Technically, that whole secret history of America might then indeed be real. And so we've had and a what? number of CIA guys, certainly not just horny on their deathbeds, no, no, trying no, no, no. to say that they believe that aliens walk amongst us. And so you yes. might not be incorrect. And that this woman, clearly distraught after losing an airplane. She's pod. drunk. I've lost drunk. three of them. I've lost Dude, three sets of AirPods. I don't. I, I need the last things. year and a half. I we need to stop. Like, there's no cords. I want a cord that goes into my arm. I must. And I want to hit a button that retracts it back into my arm. Yes. So I never lose the Sleeve fucking thing. Sleeve it through my jacket, like we used to have to do with our gloves in elementary school. Non-humanoid entity. This woman's pointing it out. She, this what stress comedian, is allowing her to see through the veil. What comedian? What performer would the CIA like better? None other than Carrot Top to be the person who actually sees a non-humanoid entity on a plane because people, you know what, they're wrong. I believe, I but do they believe, might demean Carrot Top. I do believe that Carrot Top was used as a punchline in Men in Black as an alien. So there you go. And so I but like but hiding he, in plain sight. But he, I feel like in many ways, literally, Carrot Top is so human. Oh my God! What plain sight? 
hiding in a plane it means nothing. Plane, P L N E. I know. Hiding in plain sight. It means nothing. Wow. It means nothing. And then Carrot Top. <laughs> now he's the tip of the fucking spear. I don't think he what is. What if Carrot Top sees a UFO before you? I think he's the top of the bushel of the carrots. I think that he <laughs> is uh, unfortunately very yeah. human. And I think that in the he end, is. he's so, he's more alien. In his perspective he's of funny. the world, he's very funny. What if? What but if, I think that that separates him apart. I think, as a matter of fact, he's all too human. If he becomes the true non-ironic expert on all extraterrestrial activity, because someone's got to take that. Someone's got to take it. Someone has to take that burden. And who would? Oh my God, the comedian that the aliens would like to be entertained with the most when they come here, Carrot Top. Because they're not going to get. They're not going to get Chappelle's new material. Physicality. Yes. Is the international comedy and right like you know doing bits fun bits because it's like you know I remember when uh, Murder Fist went through the just for laughs situation like and don't frown this was in Canada right so we were doing it in Montreal so they do this big old comedy festival called Just for Laughs and Murder Fist oh everybody the knows audition. they they own Canada yes we crushed it right we were supposed to go and then the very end they didn't want us to do Just for Laughs because they said this is an international festival your comedy is just too <laughs> it's just too verbal it for- involves so much blood. That um, that's the most universal thing but there the is. French like a guy Fuck. who trips, pants falls off, they do. lands inside of a child. That's what France likes for also, comedy. They want a guy that goes like you know he goes like Whoa. he Whoa. slips in a bunch of bananas. He reveals that he has tits and a dick, <laughs> and they're like what? And they're like yeah. and that that's nice? it. And then he falls into a bunch of soup, and then the president's got a wig on. Yeah. That's what France. Likes. Honestly, that's a fantastic sketch. Apparently, they also really like like their four day work week and all their health care because they're burning where, their city down. That's where they also they've got that yeah, nail. They're burning their whole country down. They got it very, so, very. You get that on the money. If you do see Carrot Top, ask him: Was this woman just absolutely b- blackout drunk, or was it possible that that was indeed not a human at all? I don't know. Cool. But you know what? Again, you know what? It does seem to really muck up a human's life when it's not fucking aliens. What? It's goddamn mud. Mud is such, it was so much scarier than I thought it was. This you whole know, thing, I did not know that mud. Mud doesn't fuck around. Mud is fucking scary as hell. I've had many people send yeah. messages talking about mud, you the, ever lost scariness sh- of, the scariness of mud. You ever lost a shoe in mud and realize just the power, even below the ankle, the power of mud? No, I stay in cities. Well, there's some mud out this here. I mean, wild. also that slime. But I'm just, again, nothing affirms my status as a city mouse, mm-hmm. as all of this shit is being just so fucking evil. Mud's evil. Bro. There's a, there's a story from fucking I guess mud, Massachusetts. The mud times. All right, miss it. Woman missing for a week found alive, stuck in mud. Wow. According to police, 31-year-old Emma Tatuski. Honestly, you gotta lift shows, really. You gotta lift those knees when you're jogging. You really do. Uh, Come on, Tatuski. You gotta get your knees up. She was located alive in Borderland State Park in Easton. She was found stuck in the mud by Uh hikers who heard her screaming for help in a swamp-like area. Officials said that the hikers could not get Tatuski out of the mud, so they called Easton police for help. When they arrived, they said they had to wade 50 feet into a swamp-like area through thick brush and frown to to found Tutuski. She said she was there for three days oh and could God. not get out. They needed ATVs for the rescue mission. I just they, she didn't have serious injuries, but then she was just stuck in the mud. I don't know. I'm just wow. gonna say, I don't know how she fucking got there. Well, I guess you walk to the mud. I just feel like on some level, again, I go to the mud. I want she heard my, in her voice. Go to the mud. She heard in her mind. But Julian Sands, famous character actor, was also his yeah. remains were just found. He was sixty five years in old in the mud, and off to the side. Off, he had a hiking like accident. Uh, he mean, fell in the dirt, and Julian Sands was just in an interview talking about how dangerous all this shit is. I don't really understand why people think that we've just spent two years in a quarantine if you haven't been well, hiking was, the last, I mean, like, not the last year, but, like, you gotta get your muscles back up. You do. You can't just jump but, straight into, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the swamps of sadness, heard a horse drown here, I can make it through. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Tuski, I believe in you, but I think that the mud, if it can sneak up on you, that's scary as fuck. Well, mud is indeed thicker than water, so when it comes to mud, we've heard the term, don't be a stick in the mud. <laughs> so I think people back in the day, 
You should just constantly die like birthday candles on a birthday cake, just being stuck in the mud. Got to and then be you careful, just got to mostly you just let them die slowly. Maybe you throw a ham sandwich their way every now and again. But to be honest with you, you probably just shoot them. But they're good. Oh, you have to. Because, because what else are you going to do? You're stuck in the mud. You're, you're literally stuck in the mud. But I watched this thing from 1890, which isn't that long ago. Because we're like, well, what a timeline are we in? Yes, I would prefer if it was pre-2007. I would go from 2002 to 2007 you before 18, the iPhone. You were watching thing from 1890? Read it. And you know, there was this man. But what do you mean? Did you go through a time no, like I read monocular? It. No, I read the article. Oh, you read an article. Yeah. I th- and but times used to be very difficult. And so you know what it used to happen when you get glee globes, when you get the rocks in your dick? What? When you, when you get the rocks in your dick. What do you mean? Well, when you have a thing that you have to piss out that's the size of a rock. Kidney stones. They used to just take a fucking pole, shove it down your goddamn cock, yeah, and just break it yeah. inside of your intestine. Yeah, you, no, things were worse. 